Hi and welcome to another Krita tip. In this case I'm going to show you uh, just a detail that I forgot to mention in the previous uh, tutorial. Uh, it was my brushed editor window which is just right here and as you can see here I can uh, move around uh, my desktop because this is, uh, these videos are made on the laptop and the screen resolution is not um, is not really good for for painting uh, big pieces of art or to have a good interfaces uh, full, full of buttons and and so this kind of things uh, so yeah by default is attach it to the toolbar so you can see something like this and by default if we click with the right uh, mouse button we see this option detach from the toolbar and so press it strip you can see we now can see some uh, of the presets available so we can navigate through the presets based uh, if I remember well in the yeah in the brass engine so we can start to filter automatically just by okay <laughs> there's uh, some of them uh, we have some of presets for its brush engine so um, what I was saying uh, just about the size of the window uh, the size of the window is really important if you are a uh, continuous changing even when we have a preview um, area where we where we can uh, just test or brush presets it's not a uh, very very useful when we have a uh, small desktops so what I do is just to um, I quit and I remove this so preset strip and I use uh, and I remove the so scratch pad and now I detach from toolbar okay so now I have uh, <laughs> something like this our thing um, Okay, it's not the best way to, to work with Krita, but for laptops I think it's it's okay because we don't have uh, too much space. So I put this this window just in the, in this area and continue working. So I hope this uh, tutorial uh, just little tip help you a bit with the Krita journey. And thanks for watching. See you next time.